In Bucharest, Bingham relegates Jerry Armstrong to the bench. He accepts it philosophically, but feels too many remember the header in Ishmir. On the field, a rising new star and an elder statesman help make the game unforgettable. Klein. Ungoriano well forward also. And Penny, good turn. Michael Roy. Dean McCreary starting a match. Unusual for him. That's a good ball by Whiteside. This is Whiteside onside. Klein. McDonald up early. The ball's broken for Hadji. Korash is in the center. Hadji wants it himself. And a good save by Jennings at his near post. That's the danger of the 20-year-old. Jorge Hadji. Korash fighting at the near post. Ball in his corner. Jennings is going. Missed it too. And McDonald made a good interception. And he for Quinn. Rogalescu. Tall, rising above him. That's Rednick. Played a good one too. Mateus right the way through it again. Jennings with a great save on his line. Sammy McElroy. White sides, the far side. Signaling to McElroy. It's a good run by McElroy. Quinn's on side. If he can hold it and turn it, and he has done it. Jimmy Quinn has given Northern Ireland the lead with 28 minutes gone. Again, Haji. Support for the Yovan. McDonald with a great header. That was very important. Appeals against Rednick. Got away with it, and again, McDonald was in. Starting the second half the way he played right through the first half. Great defense. Alan McDonald making his debut. A half an hour of the match to go. Corner perhaps aiming for a volley. In the end, a half volley and Jimmy Nicol off the line from Matthews. Ball not clear yet. He's Bologna and Haji. Little chip this time. And again, McDonald with a fine header. And what a great save by Jennings. Joe Gow this time hitting the shot. Pat Jennings. Checking his position again and again. A clear header and a great save again by Jennings. Rednick this time. To me, Romania was one of the great results of our history, and there's no make no mistake about that. And in fact, I remember I was remember doing a little bit of commentating for the match uh, in between screens. And I thought, look, we've actually had the three best chances of the first half, and you felt maybe the second one would you know would seal the game. Maybe they would lose heart. I, I honestly felt after that that. That England wasn't going to be a problem. 